In this lesson, we'll be talking about using ChatGPT to help you write songs and lyrics. Let's jump in. So I'm asking ChatGPT to write a rock song in the style of the police about heartbreak in 4-4 time using the chords A minor, E minor, G major, D major, and include the words pineapples and ghosts. I'll never forget those summer nights when we used to hold each other tight, but now that love is gone, I must find a way to move on. Pineapples and ghosts haunt my mind, reminding me of a love that was blind. This is hilarious. But you can see ChatGPT tells you where you are in the song, verse one, chorus, verse two. It gives you the chords above the lyrics, and it wrote an original song about heartbreak in the style of the police. And it did include pineapples and ghosts. It wasn't the most creative about how it threw them in there, but this is honestly hilarious. Now I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to write a rap battle between between Dr. Dre and Biggie Smalls about spaghetti. Write a rap battle between Dr. Dre and Biggie Smalls about spaghetti. Use the words jelly belly three times. Okay, let's see how he did. Right out of the gate, yikes, that is vicious. Listen up, Biggie, it's time to go to war. Your rhymes are weak, they're a total bore. I'm the king of the West, I'm a master of beats. You can't touch me, you're just a fat piece of meat. Oh my God. Okay, you talk about spaghetti, but you don't know the sauce. What is this one? I'm a master of the game, I'm the king of the beat. You're just a jelly belly, you can't even compete. This is absolutely ridiculous. And here it says that Biggie took the crown and he won the fight and Dr. Dre was just a jelly belly. So this is ridiculous. But if you actually write lyrics or you're a rapper or a songwriter, you can use ChatGPT to help brainstorm ideas for your music. 